breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Buari keeping Kano in detention is calling the Eagles fools. PDP rep candidate. Buari keeping Kano in detention is calling the Eagles fools. PDP rep candidate. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. The candidate of the People's Democratic Party for Idiato Federal Constituency in Imo State, Ikenga Ogochinyere Laz on Friday, berated President Muhammadu Buhari for the continued detention of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra Lipo, Onamdikanu, despite three different court orders. The Court of Appeal in Abuja had freed Kanu of the terrorism charges, filed against him, and ordered his release. A federal high court, Umayal had also ordered the release of the high pop leader maintaining that he be returned to Kenya, where he was illegally extradited. A high court in Abia State had also given a judgment in favor of the high pub leader. Ogo Chinyere, who is the spokesperson for the Coalition of United Political Parties, in a statement opined that Kanu's continuous detention, despite the court's judgment, shows that the government does not respect the rule of law. He argued that it also shows that the president has no respect for the Hebrew people. The PDP chieftain insisted that the candidate of the APC at all levels would suffer because of the president's decision. The statement read, I have observed with dismay the continued detention of Kanu by the federal government despite three recent court judgment in his favor. This total disregard for court judgment by this administration has shown that the APC government does not have an iota of respect for the judiciary. Not only that, this development is also an indication that President Buhari is calling Ido's fools. It is surprising that the president can be sanctioning this reckless and illegal activity of his men and agencies despite saying it openly many times that only the court will determine Kano's fate. Ogo Chinyere stated that the government's action was an insult to Igbos, especially the religious and traditional rulers, who have appealed to Buhari countless times to set the activists free. Speaking further, he called on the Igbos to also reply in a manner that shows they are displeased with the Buhari government. These hate and disrespect for the Eagles by the president and his government should not be allowed to continue without the Eagles replying in a manner that will show their annoyance. I therefore call on all Eagles to reply to Buhari in the same coin by rejecting all APC candidates at all levels at the poll he added. Meanwhile, the Court of Appeal in Abuja on Friday stopped the execution of its own judgment 
which faulted the rendition of Kano from Kenya to Nigeria, and also set aside the terrorism charges against him. Justice Arunath Sanami, in a ruling upheld the application of the federal government and ordered that the execution of the judgment be put on hold. The federal government had applied that the execution of the judgment be suspended pending the resolution of its appeal lodged at the Supreme Court. Justice Sanami, in the briefing ruling held that the counter affidavit filed against the federal government application by Kano's legal team was misleading. The candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Foydiato, federal constituency in Imo State, Ikenga Ogochinyere has on Friday berated President Muhammad Buhari for the continued detention of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra Laipo, Unamdi Kanu despite three different court orders. The court of appeal in Abuja had freed Kanu of the terrorism charges filed against him and ordered his release. A federal high court, Umu Ayala had also ordered the release of the IPOB leader, maintaining that he be returned to Kenya, where he was illegally extradited. A high court in Abia State had also given a judgment in favor of the IPOB leader. Ugo Chinyere, who is the spokesperson for the Coalition of United, Political parties in a statement opine that Kano's continuous detention, despite the court's judgment, shows that the government does not respect the rule of law. He argued that it also shows that the president has no respect for the Igbo people. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by the comment section and let us know what your view is.